Hi guys, it's Crystal with Design Bundles. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this super easy doormat. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be using this great bundle here from Design Bundles. There is a ton of them to choose from so you can see all of those here and you can click on them and see them individual as well. So there is a ton of cute ones. You have fleece hide packages from husband. That one's super, super cute. You have grandkids spoiled here. Um, you have no soliciting, seriously, don't make it weird. I almost made that one super cute. Um, we have this one. This is the one we're going to make today. No need to knock. We know you're here the dogs and then you have welcome so you can also turn these into little signs if you want to as well so welcome please leave by nine o'clock and then we also have dogs welcome people tolerated so you can not only turn these into um, doormats you can also do them as signs so this is a great package here so all you need to do is simply add it to your cart check out hit the download and you can bring this over to your favorite die cutting machine, whether it's a Cricut, Silhouette, whatever it may be, you're gonna get it in SVG DXF, which means you can also bring it over to your laser machine and PNG as well. So let's go ahead and head on over to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have uploaded our files, so you're gonna get all of those files and then you're gonna pick your favorite one, bring it over, and it's gonna look just like this. Now it's gonna come individual like this in different little pieces. Now you can see I've already have mine attached. I'm gonna detach that for you guys, but it actually comes in different pieces so if I wanted to I could come over here so if I was going to make a sign for example I could change this to different colors so it gives you those options or maybe you simply want to hit delete and get rid of that so I like when they separate those because it just gives you more options but for me I want this to cut all together so the first thing that I'm going to do is hit select all and then I'm gonna hit attach. That way it cuts all together in one spot. For me, when I'm doing the doormats, I usually go between 21.5 all the way to 23.5. So for example, today's video, I did 21.5. Now I would have done 23.5, but this was um, a piece of material I had already had cut and ready to go. That's it. So all you need to do for this project is hit make it, and you don't need to mirror anything because we're gonna be using stencil vinyl. So you don't need to mirror anything. So all you're going to do is hit continue, go through the process, choose whatever material you are and cut it out. All right, now we're ready for the fun stuff. I've got my material already weeded out. I've got my mat. I grabbed this at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Target. And then I have Flex Seal. This is a huge game changer, guys. It's going to be able to handle the weather and it makes it so much easier. You guys are about to see that. All right, so what we're going to do is just simply go through here and weed out so normally you're going to keep um, these letters here. So normally if you were making a sign or something, these are the letters that you would keep. But this time we're going to actually weed them out. So we're going to do like a reverse weed, if you will. So you're just simply going to go through there and take all of those pieces out. For today's project, I'm using the Oracle or Cal uh, stencil vinyl, however you pronounce that. That's what I'm using today. There is a uh, Cricut stencil vinyl. You can also use, um, I would suggest like a removable vinyl. When you use the permanent, it's super sticky and it can kind of stick to itself. So I do recommend with these projects to really get yourself some stencil vinyl. It's really going to make it a so much, so much easier. All right, so next what you want to do is take some transfer tape. For this, I want something with low tack because you're going to be having to try to get this off in a minute and you don't want something that's going to kind of hold it to it because really this is not going to adhere great to the rug and so you don't want something that's going to you're going to fight to get it off so use a low tack transfer tape so i highly recommend using like the transfer tape paper ones if you will so what i'm going to do is just go over this and then uh, trim off the excess there and then you're going to see that I'm going to go ahead and burnish that in. I'm not like excessively going to be rubbing this in to the entire thing. The parts that I'm going to rub is where the letters are because what I need it to do is grab on to those teeny tiny pieces that are in the inside there. So like the O's and the E's. So that's what I'm trying to do. You don't want it to stick to the entire piece. You're just basically wanting it to um, work with you as you transfer it from the mat to your um, to your doormat, if you will. So what I'm gonna do is flip this over so that way it will release off the mat a lot better. Um, as you can see, it curled on the corner there. So that's what would happen if you did it in the front, but I just kind of yanked towards the end there. So now what you need to do is we're gonna peel the entire thing off of, so that transfer tape's gonna hold those little pieces there. And what we're gonna do is peel that entire thing off of the back there. 
All right, so once you have that off, all you're simply gonna do is flip this around, figure out about where you want it to go on this rug, and then take it outside. So once we get outside, then we will peel off the transfer tape. So that way it's just easier to um, transport. Now the reason why I'm taking it outside is because I'm using that adhesive stuff, and I don't want it to get all of my craft room for one, plus I don't want it to get in my lungs. So I took it outside to a well-ventilated area. So what I'm doing here, you can see that I've just got it kind of slanted over at an angle, and I'm just peeling this off so that way those little pieces can stay in position where they need to be. Now, once again, keep in mind that with this stencil tape, it's not going to like 100% just stick to this mat, but it's going to stick good enough for what we need it to do. Now, also, you can see there's a stain on this mat. I wasn't paying attention when I was at the store, but ignore that, okay? So, what I'm doing at this point is I'm just taking some paper all the way around. You could use just tape. You can use some plastic bags, whatever you want to. I'm just using some copy paper here. I'm going to go all the way around the area, and then I'm going to tape that down. So that way my spray, if it gets out of control there or, um, you know, flies through the ear or whatever, it's not going to get on the rest of the mat. So I'm just going to quickly go around with my little tape here. Um, rest in peace to my purple tape because it was the only thing I could find but I highly recommend just use some painters tape scotch tape whatever you want but I used my paper my purple tape that I absolutely adore because it was the first thing I could find all right so now what we're gonna do is take that flex seal it tons it comes in tons of other colors as well and you're just gonna spray straight down so what I'm doing is just kind of spritzing on and off and going completely over this mat um, all of those little stencil pieces and it's not even moving the little pieces or anything now if you were to hold it down and go side to side you may make those pieces move um, or cause that stuff to go underneath the stencil so just straight up and down and you're just gonna come in like a spritzing um, if you will. Does that make sense? And then right away, I carefully grabbed all of my stuff there, including my stencil, and just pulled it off in one swoop um, motion. I did that while it was still wet. And then I'm going to take my Cricut, um, you know, weeding tool, but then I decided to use the tweezers. It went by so much faster and grabbed all of these out. This is while it's still wet. You could definitely let it dry down to where it's almost dry and then do it, but I, I'm impatient. I just do the stuff while it's right away, while it's wet. And then, um, and then that's it. You just want to let it dry overnight. I would do like 24 hours and you're good to go. Now you can also take like a clear, um, spray if you want to and completely go over this entire mat. It'll help prolong your mat, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.